Now it's not too bad to be out again for a few minutes. And I was looking around for something to do and make and you know. And I thought of this ornament. It might work, might not, it doesn't matter. But you see those metal things I make? Well, that won't go over there, look. See? So, if I cut two coils off and join it together with a bit of this chain, the first thing I've got to do, of course, is just cut two of these coils off. So I'm just going to do that. I've got to do it one-handed, so it'll probably fall in the floor. I might be able to wedge it enough. Right, so all I've got to do is cut them off. I'll just show you one. I won't bore you with it for hours, and I will not do a whizzy video. See if the camera will stand there. I'm not sure. Actually, it might. Right, just see if we can do this. As I say, it won't take long, so that's why I think I can show you some of it. Well, I've got those two cut off, and they're the same, you see. Now, I'll just show you how quick it is, because uh, it might be a fraction longer, but you can get, you know you can get cordless angle grinders, so it just shows you how useless locks and chains are these days, doesn't it? Because, look, I'll just show you, probably. Oh, dear. Get my glasses sorted out, just to show you how quickly you can go through. And yes, a portable one might take a fraction longer, but it... You know, it's just a, I think, a point of interest, isn't it? You look at this. So all I've got to do now is weld those on there. Like that. See? So I'll just uh, tack one on and see how it goes. Yeah, I'm it up all the time. If I had a vice to put it in, it would have been better. But here uh, we go. There we are, done it. So that's on there, just so you get the general idea, I'll just show you this quickly, if I can. And uh, just so you can see what the general idea is. Get the camera, there you are. Like that, you see. And then of course the ring, goes in the middle, like that. Right, there we are, I've got it done. And uh, it'll be all right, I think. The paint's not totally dry yet, but anyway, <coughs> never mind. I will, uh, let me just stand this here and uh, see if I can show you it. loosely based on one of those puzzles, those metal puzzles. And of course, I mean this one won't work, the links are too big, you know, for it to go over, but it's an ornament. But the thing is, it's the uh, field bangers getting soon, it's the I mean, two day -er. and looking through my scrap, I was trying to think of something to do, you know, and it might need a bit of touching up again, paint's not totally dry yet, but uh, these little metal puzzles, what happened was I <coughs> I thought of um, making one. So I looked through my stuff to see what I had. And I've got enough here. Not really got any, enough 
small chain but I've got two sizes that would do and I thought well it's a bit pathetic could I make a bigger one look through my scrap then I realised that I need these uh, only two weeks from the field bag I forgot to get on and just to make something different for them so we made that so they are don't know what you think but yeah I quite like it actually I thought if that's Hung on a nail somewhere in a garage or whatever, I think that'll look all right. And of course you can always give it to your mates and say, oh look, got one of these puzzles. And <laughs> after ten minutes they'll be chucking it in the floor, because it's impossible of course, you know. <laughs> but uh, it's a bit amusing, I think. Right. That'll do for today. We'll see what else we can find.